Hi, my name is Scott Smith. I'm the owner broker here at Freedom House Property Management. And if you're like me, you're always looking for that next rental property to buy. So today I decided I'm going to analyze a property that I saw on the MLS at 800 East Basin Street here in Pahrump, Nevada. And I thought I'd bring you along to see if it's, if it's a good rental or not. So let's go take a look. Okay, here's the property that I saw that I want to take a look at. It's 800 East Basin here in Pahrump, Nevada. And it looks like a clean house. It looks like a yeah, fairly new house. So I'm looking at the price. It's $310,000. Just recently had a price drop of $13,000. And it's basically a three bedroom, three bath, 1,417 square foot. And it was built in 2022. So that, that excites me when it's a fairly new house. The newer houses generally mean lower repairs and maintenance right off the bat. And if you flick through the pictures, it's a clean property, doesn't have any carpet. So as a rental property owner, I get excited when I don't have to replace carpet every time a tenant moves in and out. And it's got, looks like it's got granite or hard countertops in the kitchen. It's, it's clean. It even has window coverings already. So it seems like a, a nice, clean, basic house. And flipping through the pictures, I like it. So let's go and analyze this. And I use a spreadsheet to analyze the properties. 800 Basin, East Basin, the purchase price would be $310,000. A down pain of payment of 20%. Interest rates now are at 7% and probably a little higher uh, if you're buying it as an investment property. 30 years. A rehab budget. It doesn't look like it needs any rehab right off the bat. So a 20% down payment would be $62,000. Closing cost at 1% is $3,100. Total initial cost is $65,100. That leaves us needing to get a loan of $248,000, which puts a loan payment at $1,650. Yearly property tax on this property is $2,037, and that's $170 per month. So if monthly expenses on the property, your interest payments would be $1,447, property tax $170 a month, I put insurance at about $100 a month. Uh, usually uh, ins home, homeowner's insurance is about $600 plus another $600 for flood insurance. And I went low on the repairs, maintenance, and vacancy. So this is not a conservative number. And then $180 for property management per month if the rent's down here at $1,800 a month. So the total monthly expenses of $2,396, and you have a payment on your principal each month of $203. So the total cost would be $2,600. Rent is $1,800. Your cash flow would be negative $800 per month, and your profit is $596 per month because the principal is added back into the kick of this number to get your monthly profit negative $596 a month. So right off the bat, if you're the kind of investor that's looking for a profit each month, then this property is probably not for you unless you're going to put more of a down payment or play with the numbers another way. However, let's let's keep going with this uh, the numbers here and you have a month, let's see, monthly rent $1,800. So annual revenue, $21,600 minus expenses of $28,000 equals a annual profit of negative $7,157. Okay, so you have to ask yourself, why would anybody want to buy this property if it's a negative cash flow, a negative profit? Well, if we're looking at a annual price increase of 16%, I'm sorry, that's, that's over five years. So 4% a year, let me, let me see. So 
times five is actually 20%. I was playing with numbers and didn't change them back. So over, if you have a 4% increase in the price of the property, then you would have a 20% over five years. Appreciation, therefore, would be $62,000. So I guess what they're saying is at the end of five years, you should be able to sell it for $372,000. And over that five-year period, you paid $14,554 in principal, and then your cash flow is negative $47,982. So over the five-year period, if you take your appreciation and subtract out your expenses and whatnot, your five-year gain is going to be $28,572, which is a total of 46% return on investment, 46% divided by five. So that's a 9% return on investment each year. So if you're looking at the property at purely an investment strategy and you don't need to live off the cash flow and you're looking at 9% return on investment each year. And so the return on investment would be the return on your initial cost of $65,000. Then it makes sense. So there are some investors who look at a property like this, and there are some people like me, I want to get a cash flow. You know, my goal would be to cash flow after retirement. And, you know, by the time I retire, maybe the rent you know, would be up high enough to where there was a positive cash flow. That's another thing to look at. But anyway, overall, for people who just look at a purely investment and a return on investment, you're getting a 46% 40, return over the five-year period, which is 9%. If you're in a type of a person, investor, that wants immediate cash flow or profit, this property probably wouldn't do it. So, you know, right now, I manage over several hundred properties here in Prompt. And this property, the best of my knowledge, would bring in about $1,800 a month. Anyway, that's it. Contact me anytime here at Freedom House Property Management. Phone number here is 775-727-4444. And I'd love to hear from you.